What's up guys? Um, this is my second video of the day. This is actually the same day I recorded um, the Love is Blind, or not the Love is Blind, the inmate marriage situation. But um, you know, I was scrolling as I always do and I come across somebody else who's addicted to alcohol. They're gonna have an intervention. We're gonna figure out what happened to them. So grab some popcorn, grab a cup of water, and turn the volume all the way up because we're going in. When you were asked me if I'm an alcoholic, I would I would probably answer no. You know, I enjoy a cold beer. Initially. Okay, you can easily not be an alcoholic but still have a couple of DUI charges because you just make poor decisions in life. Obviously, you know you're not supposed to drink and get behind the wheel. But we don't know the full, st the full story yet. We don't know how often this guy is drinking. So let's continue. Eddie drinks up to 12 beers and six shots of alcohol a day. A day? That's alcoholic. That's definitely an alcoholic. It is socially acceptable. I like to do it. It's not illegal. I don't feel like I'm necessarily doing anything wrong. It's, it's easy. It's, no, it's not easy. It's hard to say you're not doing anything wrong if you're getting on the streets and you're getting freaking pulled over for driving drunk. Like, come on, bro. So many people die from drunk drivers all the time. You you feel invincible, but come on, man. You can't, you can't do that. He drinks it's literally like, wow, buddy, I can't believe you can still talk right now, you know? I don't know, man. Alcohol abuse can lead to liver failure, brain damage, and death. I understand. Cause some people just well look at this dude dude's like probably like six foot something over 220 and he's hammering beers like obviously okay yes he can handle his drink but you can't judge the man just how much he drinks on the occasion i can see why it'd be an issue if he does it every single day but if you guys are going to hang out and he's drinking a lot and he still can form a sentence pat that dude on the back it's like that's impressive that's freaking impressive. Yeah, just don't drive. So this guy has more than just one addiction. He is, he is, that is the rest of alcohol and, a, and gambling is the recipe for straight failure, straight failure. Especially if this man is gambling five days a week. My man got money. My dog got money. <laughs> Simple as that. Drinking alcohol has certainly complicated my life. Eddie has five DUIs and 12 car accidents. Like when do you, when do you come to terms with yourself? Like bro, like what the, what the frick? Whose car are you driving to crash 12 freaking times? How do you have all this money? Is this, is this his car he's driving that he's crashed 12 times? He's getting it fixed over and over just to crash it some more. I was one of the best Little League baseball players in the area. That's gotta be a real disappointment. Disappointment to your parents, man. You got so much potential. I just wanna know where it went wrong. Like, is he, did he turn alcoholic because his dream was to be in the uh, major leagues and then ultimately he didn't make it. So now he resulted in just drinking so he can make himself feel better. So he doesn't have to feel like that whole, like, dang, I could have did this, but I'm not good enough. I'm a drink because I feel like trash. Like, you know, make himself feel better. I don't know. I always demanded excellence. There's nothing wrong with that. I always demanded 100% effort. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna jump to conclusions here. The kid felt overwhelmed. Turns out he really didn't want to play baseball. He hit that ball and it cleared that fence and all the coaches turned and looked and they went, son, what are your grades like? And we were like, oh, we were so excited. It was awesome. He was awarded a baseball scholarship to Duke University. Okay, another conclusion I'm gonna jump to. Maybe he goes to college 
and just freaking just loses himself, just starts drinking because everybody's partying. You're at Duke. You're having a good time. You're a freaking star, a baseball player. And then you get in trouble the first time because you drink, you feel invincible, you drive, you get arrested, scholarships taken away. Mm, watch. There's so much pressure in constantly holding up the image of being the perfect kid. You know, the all-American, you know, baseball superstar that I wanted to go out and drink and hang out with my friends. Which is nothing wrong with that. Eddie joined a fraternity during his freshman year of college and started drinking alcohol, which is nothing wrong with that either. By 20, Eddie was using marijuana, nitrous oxide, mushrooms, and coke. My boy. Like, how'd you go so far? What happened? Yep, early in his final season, Eddie was kicked off the baseball team. Maybe he was drunk or high somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. And my parents stopped really relating to me. They didn't call me as much my senior year, and they didn't come down to see me one time all school year. And so part of me to quit. I ain't never been a quitter. So that's kind of, ah, man, I don't know how I feel about that. So your kid gets kicked off the baseball team. And obviously your dreams and his dreams didn't work out. So you stop seeing him. Look, that is just so messed up. Cause that's still your kid, man. Like he can excel somewhere else. He's still in college, you know, he's just off the team. He could do something totally different. That's, mm, that's, mm. yeah, Eddie graduated from Duke and got two masters. Like, who does that? Eddie does. And he opened a restaurant. Okay. So, you know, he opens the restaurant, you know, so he's really probably in with the locals very well. You know, he talks, he socializes to everybody who comes to his restaurant. People got, or uh, probably got some uh, recurring customers. And then they go out to a bar, they probably drink at his restaurant. And he just kind of just, you know, just likes hanging out. He just likes to hang out. He just makes dumb decisions. Because I'm sure a lot of you people have gone to a bar multiple times out the week. You know what I'm saying? Drinking every day is a little bit excessive, but I was young. I used to drink every day because it was just freaking fun. I guess some people just don't like, they just don't adjust to the times because if I were to drink every day, bro, man, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a damn plastic bag or no, nah, I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to come up with something with it personal bankruptcy, lost the house, lost the business. Then the marriage spiraled out of control from there. And then she had him arrested for harassment and wow. breaking and entering and everything in the restraining order. Wow. That's freaking sad as hell. Man, how far, how far, like how bad does it have to be for you to throw your entire life away? Basically you lose your restaurant, you lose your wife, you lose your savings, your house, all for some alcohol. Damn, I did not know it can get like this. He can't find happiness in the future unless he puts the past to rest and he quits drinking. That is true. Don't know how I feel about the quit drinking part because obviously if you're a raging alcoholic, you can't just cold turkey. I don't think you could cold turkey anything. You got to kind of like wean yourself off, but I don't necessarily agree with completely being sober forever. Maybe every now and then you can have a drink. Maybe every now and then you can kind of go overboard and just, you know, be extremely drunk, just in a good environment where you don't find yourself having to drive or, you know, be in any compromising situations, but being completely sober, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I freaking commend anybody who's done it, but for me, dog, can't do it. Here we go, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Okay, before this intervention happens, this dude in my comments said, well, he brought some light to my eyes because he was like, you know, the intervention is more so for the family. And it kind of made me realize like, yes, like I get that. It's like the last chance for the family to actually, you know, put their feelings on the table and let them let you know how your actions are affecting them. But at the end of the day, to me, it's, it seems like it's just only words, you know, like I just can't get over the fact that this person is over 30 years old and he knows right from wrong. This is a grown ass adult. He knows right from wrong. He knows that he lost his house, his marriage, his, he got DUIs and he's facing jail time. And you know what I'm saying? The man is 30. So what more can your family do? You know? Hey, Eddie. Hey. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. We just kind of want you to sit down and listen to what we have to say. I don't know how the hell I will feel if I were to come into a room with people just circled around like, oh, hey, how's it going? Like, yeah, I need you to sit down. All right. What's this about? Like, one man, I'm going to be off on edge. I'm just like, bro, what? Like, what? Why can't you just tell me this somewhere else, like offline? Why does it have to be this big old thing? You know, like, I don't know, man. I don't trash. I'm not trashing anybody who's had interventions and it worked or it didn't work. I'm just all about accountability. And I know for a fact, this dude knows right from wrong. So. Will you please? There's not the help that's being offered to you today. I'm gonna turn the subtitles on or something. Cause this. I don't, I don't know. I can't wait to stay. We'll talk about that. I have a court date. I can't miss. We fixed that. We uh, made arrangements with uh, the district attorney. And what's going on for your court date could be null and void if you said yes today. OK, so uh, I see the power of interventions now. I see the power of interventions. Just say yes. Holy smokes, you don't have to go to court. You don't have to deal with anything else if you just get help. So I see the power of interventions because not only can you voice your opinion and what you feel and your emotions, you can have the whole freaking state on your side. I see the power of interventions. I see it now. This time it's not the love of the game, man. It's because I love you. I'm sorry. Oh my God, I'm sorry. It's stuff like this just cringes me so bad. I don't, I don't want to sound like a straight ass bag, but this dude, man, interventions besides like having the state on your side, I get that, but you just basically just brought this man into a room just to guilt this man into stop drinking, but he's going to want to have to change for himself. You know, like he just, you just kind of guilting him into fixing himself. Please. I'm asking you to accept this help today. Start it out. Yeah, let's go. Right. And then if the dude was to really say no, that would just be so dumb on his part. Of course he's going to say yes. He doesn't have to go to court. We don't know this man's real intentions. You should have just freaking saved that for the end. Should have saved that for the end of the intervention. You know, of course he's going to say yes. I don't have to go to court no more. Obviously, I'm going to do what the hell y'all want me to do. It's almost like you made the decision for him. Like, yeah, if you accept help, you don't have to go to court. You're not going to face any jail time. Well, obviously, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to stand in front of a court and get judged. Yes, I'm going to take this help. But in the back of my mind, it's like, boy, I'm about to leave this mother effort and I'm about to go get me a beer. Ain't no telling what this man thinking. Y'all just... Mm. Straight like that, man. As Lee, at least he went. At least he's going, you know. 
two months later. Let's see. I've been sober for 55 days and I feel fantastic. That's good. Physically, I feel uh, very healthy. Emotionally, I feel like I have a, uh, a much more clear way of looking at things. He just looks healthy and his eyes are open and he looks like a completely different person. That's good. Listen, I don't condone drinking a ton of alcohol, but I'm going to give y'all some like a word of advice from somebody who used to drink a lot of alcohol and still from time to time drinks a lot of alcohol. Just stay hydrated. If you're going to drink a ton of alcohol, drink a ton of water, either the same day or the following day, because you don't want your body to just be completely messed up. You're going to mess up your body anyway from drinking, but you can kind of combat it if you level it out with some water. So my biggest word of advice, if you're going to drink a whole bunch of alcohol, drink a whole bunch of water and like that's it. Get some Pedialyte. It will help with the hangovers. You know, freaking maybe some caffeine in the morning to get you going from a hangover. But ultimately, just drink a ton of water. That is the the most, you know, that that's the most universal fixer of almost everything. Everything. Water. <laughs> Five weeks after the intervention, Eddie's parents completed the Betty Ford Center Family Program. Eddie got a job coaching baseball and speaks in and speaking at local local treatment centers. Holy smokes. He's been sober since January 2011. Wow, this is very old. That is a long time to be sober. Let's figure out what happened. I know I have not been doing great on this whole searching for people, but we're gonna figure it out today. Try to at least. So this comment says on Eddie's Facebook, he just celebrated 4,200 days sober. That is so long to be sober, but man, if you can do it, if you, if you got it in you, freaking do it like that that is an incredible feat <sighs> yeah that's that's great um it's good to see that he's still doing good i couldn't find a facebook i didn't actually want to try and look for his facebook but somebody i believe the comments you know what i'm saying but we got his alcohol addiction under control but what about the gambling does he still gamble you know this is only a youtube video I didn't watch the whole episode. So, you know, hopefully he's, I mean, they seem like they're doing fine. He seems like he's doing fine. So yeah, man, if you know an alcoholic, say something, call somebody, you know, have an intervention because it might work. You might have to stay on your side. And um, yeah, let me know if I've been a complete ignorant POS this video. I feel like I haven't, but maybe I said some things that kind of offended people. So, you know, let me know. Um, that's going to be the end of the video, man. Love yourself. Love your family. Love your parents. Love your kids. Drink some water. Don't drink too much alcohol. We're out.